It don't take much till you get enough living off love. Living off love, buying off time, without somebody loving you worth a dime. Living off love. Sometimes it takes a little while because you're really, it's, um, no, no joke, it's more of an art. Because you have to get it just right, and you have to be careful. And an artist takes his time on his work. You know, he doesn't sell for less. You know, uh, he's trying to, um, you be sensitive. you be sensitive. With it. And, uh, you're real thoughtful in what you do. There's a lot more that goes into this than just shaving a beard, you know? It's more than just that. When a real man shaves his beard, he puts... He puts, um... He puts thought into it passion. It's a passion. You know, it's a lifestyle. It's really more of a lifestyle than anything else. Because, you know, you got guys that don't shave their beard, you know, they got the full beards and all. They're trash is what they are. They're filthy trash. But then you got guys that are sensitive that take their time that want to look good, and that's me because I know I look good. And I, yeah, thank you. And I try, I try to get every bit that I can and make them. I want to look like a man should look, you know. I'm not saying I want to look like a businessman or nothing. I just want to look nice. And I know, I know a lot of people aren't thinking, you know, they're really thinking, oh man, you're making a big deal out of it, but. Why wouldn't I make a big deal out of looking good? That's all I want to do is look good. I mean, it's not hard. For me, it's not. You know, looking good just comes naturally, but I want to perfect it. I want it to be more than just looking good. I want it to be superb. I want it to be the best good-looking man I could ever be. You learn something from the master every day. I'm not done. See? See these parts right here? You have to pull off the excess skin right here in order what, to you get... you mean you're fat? It's not fat. You have to pull your skin because it's like, it's hard to get under these edges right here. So you have to pull it up to get yeah, that... Yeah, a lot look. of hair. You have to that get that little... Shaved. Look to, at that. Listen. You have to get that little scrubble. Like right here, stop. This right here. It's, when you get a bunch of that, it's not going to shave really good. What you do, you take it, put pressure, and you push the hairs off from there. And I'll take them off and then just sort of just do a little rhythm of it right under there. And get it off and watch. Wing cut. Although I don't have any more shaving cream under there and it keeps putting the camera in me. But um it is it is an art, it really is. It's an art. Um you know, as most people say, art can be anything. You know, life can be art. Art is life. It could be a toilet. I got a... Just that little... See, there's this little scrubble, which is that excess beard that's like, it's hard to get off the rest of the beard. But you have to get right up and close in the mirror too, actually, to see that little bit, because you can end up walking out into the street and you didn't get all the rest of the beard off, you know? And people are like, look at that dummy. He, he didn't finish his beard. Take you one little dab. Just a little dab like that of shaving cream. Put it back on there because once you do shave, all the, the shaving cream is usually going to come off, you know, in an instant with that one shave. And you're not going to get it all off in one shave. I guarantee that. So take, wash it off again. And we'll try this again. Now this is a little it's disposable uh, razor. It's not a real good one. But, um, you know, I can't afford the Gillette or whatever. All that crap. Mac 3, whatever that is. But I just use old fashioned rollers. You know, back in the old days, they didn't have handles on them. It was just one, it was one razor blade. Is what it was. A lot of people got hurt, injured, and had to go to the hospital because of that. I don't know. You don't know. movies in school. You don't know where they had the one razor. Yeah, one razor. The bathroom certainly stinks. <laughs> trying to stink it up in here. Well, I'm trying to shave and you just like rub. I'm trying to shit. 
You turned around the moment, so what you're gonna do. And I appreciate uh, that. You wanted some art, and uh, I appreciate that. I'm making, making it. Make the art, man. Okay. Now here's the easiest part, folks. Why then? This right here. This doesn't actually take. Like you don't. It doesn't actually take any uh, shaving cream to get this. It's according to what size the mustache is. But look. I can actually get it off one click flick of the razor just like that nothing and I don't know about y'all folks but I get a little unibrow right up here and all you just take and I take it one quick little flick you're done quick little flick you're done now I, okay I got a little water on the glass this thing <laughs> I just cleaned my glasses, everybody, so I can actually see better today. <laughs> it's always good. Um, if you're like me and you wear glasses, um, it's good to always keep take a really soft cloth. You don't want you don't want something real scratchy because you can cause you can cause little scratches to come on your glasses, and you can't really get those off. I mean, it's they're there, so. And it will cause your vision to not be as clear as you would really want it to be. Here, you take your time, take a real soft, silky cloth, wipe it off with a little eyeglass cleaner, you know. You could also clean camera lens like such. But, uh, uh that's going to wrap it up for today's episode, y'all. I uh, hope y'all liked it. Um, and we'll see y'all next time on uh, CNK Cleanly Cut Men's life how uh being Boys. wait uh men's health care uh cnk